Hi, Gary Korb here from CigarAdvisor.com, and my fan mail question this month comes from Jackson in Fort Worth, Texas, who writes, I just got into smoking cigars over the summer, and I hope you don't think this is a dumb question, but when should you tap off your cigar's ashes? Well, Jackson, it's really not a dumb question. You know, I've seen a number of cigar smokers who either wait so long to ash their cigar that they just have no choice, you know, or others who feel like there's some kind of magnetic attraction between uh, their cigar and the ashtray. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, anyway, I could see how it could be confusing. So actually, the answer is very simple and all it takes is a little common sense. Now, if the ash is relatively firm, it's usually ready to be tapped anywhere from about three quarters to an inch in length. Now, sometimes the ash will tell you when it's ready because you'll start to see a slight crack forming in the ash itself. Now, how long you want to wait to ash is up to you, but wait too long and you become the ashtray, right? <laughs> okay. Well, ashes also act like a, sort of a filter to help burn the cigar a little cooler. And when, you know, you're ready to make the move, you can either tap it firmly or you can sort of just break it off against the edge of the ashtray. The other thing I like to do after I ash is I roll it a little bit, you know, to form a cone. Now it's more of an aesthetic thing for me, but it will also help the next ash form a little more nicely. Ashing your cigar, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped, and if you like it, make sure you like it on YouTube. That's all for now, and see you next month.